<laughs> okay, oops, the auto focus is focusing on the very corner for some reason. Touch screen. Okay, so I'm in Mallier Cave, obviously. Work on my way out. The floor is really damp and slippery. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Interesting how the wall is not entirely flat. Fascinating. That's how there's like a nice breakdown ceiling. Probably break down rock below it. Huh, there's still some wood here that they cleaned all this stuff out. Pressure ridge. Look at the wall, the color. It's like some kind of weird copper colored stuff on it, or bronze. It's not metal, I don't think. Oops, a whole bunch of people in here today. <laughs> so usually I get here earlier in the year, but I was busy. A very busy winter. Notice all the polka dots on the floor. This is from water dripping on the ceiling, making impact craters. With all the people walking through, especially as it dries out, it will probably disappear. I think this is the last weekend it's open this year. They're only open to the public a few times a year, and then they have their little meeting at the, what is it, August or September. It's on their web page. Notice how the cave bulges out there. Like it almost had a side passage. Or maybe it did and it sealed off. Hmm. Suspicious. Excuse me. Interesting how the ceiling suddenly gets lower here. Really pretty colors. This is a trail to walk around this breakdown pile. Make it a little bit easier. I think this is the last breakdown pile in the cave. another place where the cave bulged out <laughs> now it's all of a sudden narrower it's like the cave was wider and one side fell down but the whole thing didn't fall down Oops. oh this is cool I don't know if I saw this before but there's like plant roots coming through the ceiling. That means we're not very far underground here. This whole cave, and notice it's all at the crux. So yeah, there's plants above and the roots grow through the cracks. Kind of cool. So we're now back to the bleachers 
where the Masons have their little meeting, annual meeting. Here's the, uh, what's it called, the platform. There's that mystery door. I was thinking about going behind these bleachers. It's all, it's still really wet back here. It's like puddles of water and stuff back here. So I don't think I'm gonna actually walk behind the bleachers like I was thinking. That's Mr. Chicken to you. I think what I'll do is I'll get up here and walk on the foot part of the bleachers. It's like some people put their feet on the seating part of the bleachers. Oh, this is interesting. They got assigned seats. Huh, that's interesting. I didn't even notice that. Okay, well, you know what? It's nobody's business. I'm not gonna record their names. But yeah, the whole front row, there's assigned seating. There's names on them. Heavy. I didn't even notice that on the way in. Is that mystery door again? So I'm gonna come back a, bit, a little bit so you can see the ceiling. It's not even. There's a big gap there. Kind of cool. There's a hook on the ceiling. I think that's where they used to hang lights before they installed the wires. Kind of cool. Notice how red or brown, kind of rust colored the ceiling is here. Ow. The floor is a bit uneven here. Notice how dry the ceiling is here, even though the rest of the cave is really wet. Okay. <laughs> There's a bird nest up there. Mm -hmm. 